Ah. The nurses. The one character that does make its way throughout all the games. And we found a map right away. That's good. Definitely need a map. I'm not a fan of the hospital anymore. I know, I know, Heather. Nothing's interesting to you. Interesting. Of course it's locked. What weapon do we have? None. I guess it unequipped everything when we went through some... Ooh, we need to heal. And let's definitely use the katana. That's right, nurse. I screwed you up. Oh, hi. I see you've come to the party. Come closer. Okay, the katana, pretty good against the nurses. Just saying. Heather, jeez. Show some remorse. She just had this, like, dead look on her face, like, well, it is done. Oh, we got a letter for... What? There's like a Barbie? Hmm. The day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? It's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. Ah, uh, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Well, Stanley, um, why do you have a doll collection? Disgusting. I won't touch that with a ten-foot pole. I mean, I don't blame you. It is a little questionable. All right, Heather. Now we know there's something creepy going on. She's like, really? Now we know? Pretty sure we knew a while ago. All right. Stanley. It's like the Stanley Parable. I played the Stanley Parable when it first came out long, long ago. I never played the, the remake version or whatever, whatever it is. I probably should at some point. I probably have a lot of fun with it. It's locked. All right, let's find out who's in the cell, wherever the cell may be. Come closer, nurses. I got a tough pill for you to swallow. It's called my katana. Oh, crap. Yeah, the katana is definitely OP against the nurses. Wait, is there nothing in here? But the nurses? So I didn't even have to come in here? Well, that sucks. How's our health? Good. It's great. Yeah, these nurses are easy. <laughs> the nurses are easy. Hmm. Another one? What does this note say? The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will. 
make me forget about all that. But I'll stay here. Say I'll stay sane, even if they throw me in here with lunatics. What about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk, those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Oh my gosh, he, he's this. They're actually actively talking to us. Ah, oh, my gift must must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Great. So this Stanley guy is observing us right now, is what, what I'm taking from this. What did he stick on the wall? There are a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was was prob probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? Uh-oh. There's a key. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. Well, he mentioned that the nurses use something to get stuff off the wall, so clearly we have to find that. And then we can, uh... What's this on the ground? Can we pick it up? Alright, well, I'll be back. The Stanley guy stalking us. Oh, okay, I know where we are. I'm remembering this layout already. I like that they reused it from the older game. It's kind of cool. Because the, uh, the, otherwise, I think it, the, the layout of the map kind of felt different from the, from the first game to the second game. So the fact they're reusing layouts in this is nice. It kind of makes Silent Hill actually feel like it is a place. Give me some glue. Or some glue remover. Hmm. There's nothing of interest. Of course. It's a medical record or something. It's for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12, presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas, suspect mild schizophrenia, will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, it becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. This is the guy who wrote that sick diary. Room S07, usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. <clears throat> Great. That's just what you want to hear. <laughs> Claire's got a stalker. Not Claire. Heather. Don't know why I called her Claire. I think this that might be the last door. Yeah. Guess we're using the elevator now. We'll go to the basement first. Apparently we can't, so we're going to two. Hopefully there's not something that attacks us as soon as the doors open. Ah, uh, yes. I am remembering this layout. All too well. Another one? You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. And so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue. The path to paradise. If the, do if the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor. I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here, too. I mean, 
Four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley. Stanley um, is going to be very much alone <laughs> with how he is um, acting to Heather. All right, what's over here? Is there a door? Oh, God, there's a whole other hall. Maybe I don't recognize this. Can I go in here? No. It's locked. Ah, press move two right, one up, two down. Two right, one up, two down. So, two R, one U, two D. Two right, one up, two down. Two right. How would that work? Starting from what point? One, two. No, that wouldn't work. Hmm. Press. Move to right. That doesn't make any sense. We'll come back to it. nail polish remover. Okay. So now we can go down and get that key. I think we will. I think we probably shouldn't. That way we at least have it and we're done. And we don't have to go all the way back down there. Oh, not perfume. Why do we have perfume? Stairball key. Nice. This is the stairball, right? I don't think we needed this just yet, but we'll take it. Oh gosh, yeah, we can go to the basement now. Oh yeah, the secret passages were in the basement, if I remember correctly. It was in the storeroom. Ooh, submachine gun. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person who is using it? They are um, not here right now. And we're not going to worry about it. Oh my gosh, these lights. Streaks of blood as if something got dragged are continuing onto the back of the shelf. Hmm. Interesting. Probably have to come back here then. <gasps> There's a submachine gun. Looks like what, an Uzi? Looks like an Uzi. They didn't own the right, so they just called it submachine gun. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. Yeah. Fair enough. Alright, well I guess there's nothing else for us to do in here, but we do know there's a space back there. Maybe we need a specific um, tool. 
And you will find another, uh, or do we still have the thing? We do not. What about dad's notebook? Did we ever read it? I hope this may never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away, far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died. And then another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie, half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead, all from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now, 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess, I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Wow. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh. So even now, I can't forget about that girl, but I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. His daughter was Harry Mason? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I understand. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. That's so different than the ending I got when I beat Silent Hill 1. I guess they kind of had to, I guess that the writers kind of had to pick an ending since there were multiple in the first one. They were like, we got to pick one and go with it. I do like that this one's kind of a direct continuation of the first one, whereas the second one was kind of a, felt more like a, a spinoff, which I really like the second one. I'm curious if the other ones continue the story. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're back here. Okay, so it was two right, one up, and two down. Which you can't really do. I don't know where the starting point is. Two. Or, mm, Maybe two right would be to the right of two. Maybe one up would be one and then up, but you can't go up, so maybe you go down. And then two down would be five. No. My problem is I don't know where the starting point is. Maybe this is the answer to a different puzzle. Maybe it's not actually to that door. Maybe I'm getting thrown off by it. I'm going to assume that's what it Actually, we didn't finish exploring up here, I don't think. He did say the doctor had the key, so uh, it, or the, the code. 
So maybe we just have to find the doctor's office. Oh, we have another code. Well, that will have to wait. Got a note. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in a special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on the top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. Wow. One, and one other thing, this looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. I will say, and this is not really talking about medical hospitals, but um, I haven't worked in a mental hospital, but I have known people who did. And I've heard so many horror stories about places like that. Like patients, even to this day, like you, you, you know, all those old movies of um, patients being treated poorly in mental hospitals. Well, there are sadly, sadly, that still does happen in some mental hospitals, which is really messed up. I'm not saying that all of them are like that. I'm definitely not saying that. I'm just saying that that kind of stuff sadly still does go on. I won't repeat the stories I've heard, but they weren't good. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky scatter. Maybe I should give him a voice like like I. If you ever watched my Far Cry series, which I'm not recommending it because I was very new to doing content content creation and uh, I was very awkward. But I used to do different accents for each note for fun. Um, maybe I should start doing that again. <laughs> it was fun. Let's see. How would this guy talk, Stanley? He's kind of a stalkerish dude, so he's got to like. Sniffle and breathe. Maybe that's too uh, stereotypical. I don't know. Anyway, f flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. Someone will pop in the stream for the first time while I'm using this voice, and they'll think it's my voice. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed in my breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. I feel like I'm doing an impression of Timmy from South Park on accident. Or not Timmy, uh, Jimmy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. I, I do sound like I'm doing that. Oops. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Frickin' Stanley. You belong in a padded cell. And then we can't get out. We're like, oops. Well, I guess we're now in a padded cell. It's locked. He unlocked it. Let's go in. I'm sorry about this, nurse. You brought this on yourself. When you drew my blood, it hurt. You guys ever have that where nurses do not know how to draw blood? That is so painful. Like, literally and uh, <laughs> and otherwise. Wait, we unlocked the door, and all that was in here was a nurse? That's a BS. Surely that is not the case. Surely there is something in here. I, mean, I see there's like a belt or something hanging from the ceiling. I guess that's just the, to hook people into. I don't know. Weird. No, nope, we gotta save. Let's make sure we loot this room first. There's a bucket. About the closet. Nope, not here. What do we have here? Stun gun battery. We got another note. Oh man. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I've never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely. 
Yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other off other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean at all of Silent Hill. Except me. Stanley Coleman. Stanley Coleman. That's me. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm, someone's probably going to be offended by that that act, that impression of him. Okay, so we already knew there was something down there in the garage. So we can head down there now and hopefully it'll let us squeeze past somehow. Although we still don't have a password to the um, to that door. I wonder what the Stanley guy's going to look like. I hope it would be really funny if he actually talks the way that I've done in my impression of him. <laughs> hopefully not, though. Ooh, we have, oh my gosh, we have another note from Stanley. Great. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. <laughs> I just, I was going to read it as if he's saying his name. I find that funny. All right, so he left a very brief note this time, and I'm assuming he wants us to go the, does he want to, if we go up there, are we going to, is it going to force us to jump? I really hope not. Okay, we have friends. They're like, we're Stanley Coleman's friends. Okay, well, I don't care about Stanley Coleman, so... Oh, no, it's locked. Excuse me. Stanley set this up. I'm telling you right now. Ooh, we got some submachine gun clips. Crap. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, good. Let's just get out of here. They're not worth fighting. Let's be real. All right, to the basement. Dun, 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 dun. We got to figure out what that password is out through that door. I don't think that that clue goes to it because honestly, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Unless I'm just failing to understand, which is definitely a possibility. So we got to go in that that locked door. I think maybe maybe that clue is to the is the password, and I'm just not understanding it. All right, well, let's head back there. We'll see if we can guess it, because clearly that's where we're where we're stuck right now. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Oh, for the prison gates. All right, so the prison gates that was upstairs, right? Yeah. All right, we just got to see what those numbers were, I guess. Also, they're calling them prison gates. I, I mean, these are kind of like holding cells in a hospital. I wouldn't call holding cells in a hospital prison gates, but... I guess, depending on your opinion about them, I guess you could call them that. All right, I'm assuming they mean this room. So, what are the numbers on the doors? And they don't show us. Of course they don't show us. I don't know what made that noise. I don't think I want to know. Press. See, so you're supposed to press before we move, which... Wait, so we move to right. We want up. Two down. Move two right. One, two. And if we went up, we'd go back to the bottom. Unless, it depends on what the developers think of like if the developers think you can't go like you know go back up if you went up maybe one two one two wait so if we did one two one, two. I don't know. Two, one, two. <sighs> Finally. 
I don't even feel happy about it. I feel like that was obvious. Alright, let's switch back to our katana. Alright, let's not worry about the nurse. Oh, I guess we have to. There's someone sleeping in here. Hello? Wake up! The start time is my key. The start time is his key. The start time. Hmm. There's a medical record here. Could this be for the dead guy? Background unknown. Name, age unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state in hospital's grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of events from patient residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. All right, guy. I'll see you later. Sleep tight, my friend. Come here, my nurse friend. I don't want to have to do this. You left me no choice. Is there no pyramid head in this? Maybe he's towards the end. I just realized we hadn't seen him at all. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, another note from Stanley. Great. There was a tattoo guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock in a filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? I'll own my chest, since I can't cut it, open to show you my heart. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotions image brings. Stanley Coleman. All right, Stanley. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. It's time to wake up. Wake up. Wait. We have a password. 0139. It's kind of loud. We'll turn it off. I don't want a migraine. Yeah, now my ears are ringing. The pillow is stained and sticky with blood. Is this from the tattooed guy? I've got a bad feeling. Go on, Heather. What's in the box? <laughs> well, that was easy. I struggled so much with the other one. Instant camera. Interesting. What are we going to do with an instant camera? Maybe it's like the first one. The first one you had to use a camera to, um... I think I'd use it on pictures. Hello, ladies. How's it hanging? I like your outfits. They're very, um... Old-fashioned? Very asylum-esque. And by like, I don't mean like my personal preference. I just mean I'm complimenting you just as a nice thing to do. So it's a fake compliment? Um, I mean, yes. Your outfits are a little dirty. I don't really care for them. But you're very fashionable. All right. 
What's over here? <gasps> What's in the box? You can't open it? This wall looks suspicious. Oh. I thought there might be something in it, but apparently not. <gasps> Maybe we can use it in the elevator shaft. Take a picture? Oh, that would be creepy. You snap a picture down the, sh down the elevator shaft since you don't want to look in yourself and see uh, what happens. Obviously, you're going to see a face. Can't use that here. Shame. We use the camera in here? I don't know why we would, but... What? Okay. Oh, I guess just a peek? Oh, okay. That's very... I, I'm surprised I actually figured that out. Um, 1654. 1654. That's probably to the third floor. Nope, it was 54. Good. Let's go. A lot of puzzles in this hospital. I should have known. There was like a, a lock on that door. I'm surprised it opened. It was like bolted and uh, padlocked. Or not padlocked, but... It's another magazine. She's going to say, this isn't interesting. Some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching to spare Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society. A charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do folk at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult, religious, the cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Shriver. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah, it does sound familiar. I think it was probably one of the previous ones. All right, health drinks. Anything else in here? Nope. All right. Fair enough. I wonder how close we are to the end. I want to say probably not very close. I don't know. Oh, thanks for following. Man, all these doors are locked. 
you know, before I played Silent Hill for the first time, people told me that it's basically locked door simulator, and um, <laughs> they're not wrong. I don't think it's as bad as people say, but it, it's definitely, definitely a thing. Oh, we got another note from frickin' our stalker. Oh, I guess he's mad now. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world, a world for us alone more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day for today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I love you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... I guess he stopped writing in the middle of it. Not as bad, but it's notable. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's not as bad as people say, but it, it is definitely um, definitely a thing. It it doesn't bother me. I think uh, uh, back then, especially when they were making these games, you couldn't um, make all these rooms explorable. Plus, if you did, it would become confusing, um, considering all the puzzles that are um, filled in the game. Come to me, my nurse friend. What hit me? That's true. What's hitting me? Is there someone behind me? Oh crap, we need to heal. I was wondering why I was getting hit by seemingly nothing. <gasps> he has a gun! Nurse has got a gun. Alright. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I don't think they did that in the previous ones. <laughs> I don't think I ever ran into a nurse with a with a firearm. All right, let's let's stomp this one just in case. Okay, we can't. Don't they know you don't bring a gun to a sword fight? How did I know their phone was gonna ring? Really? It is she the only one? I mean, don't don't tell me. I'd rather be surprised. But what did she say? There's nothing interesting in our in or around the bed. Gross. The whole bed stinks like year-old sweat. I'm pretty sure this is the bed that, um, well, maybe I'm wrong, but this looks like the bed that Mary was in in the last game. Or Maria. We're just gonna let it ring. We'll come back. We'll leave them hanging. Alright, let's check the other rooms first, because I have a feeling that might be an important phone call. It's like, wait, it's important, so you're gonna let it ring? Yes. Okay, so all the other doors are locked, which means it's definitely where we're supposed to go. I'm coming. I hope it's a scammer. We'll just put them on hold. That's what I typically do when I get those scam calls. I just, I just, I answer them. I act excited, and then I'm like, "Hey, can you please hold for one moment?" And I just leave them on hold. Um, it's great because then they call back and you just put them back on hold and waste their time. They get angrier the more and more they call back. Just answer it, Heather. Come on. Hello? Claudia? No, I'm not... Don't lie to me, Claudia. I always try to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. God, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard it up from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already! I'm not Claudia! You're not Claudia? My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you?
are you? I knew it was Leonard. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Hmm, I see. See, we need to now take out Leonard. And then tell Claudia, now we are even. So you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I'm... Killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. What is going on outside the window? Will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? A seal. A seal? Is it a loose seal? Lucille! Watch out for Lucille! Sorry, I was just watching Arrested Development. <laughs> that was such a dumb joke, End but such a good one. On the second floor. All right, let's go to the second floor. That is a that is such a good show. I will say, I I only watched it not that long ago, and uh, the writing is pretty clever. All right, to the second floor. Ooh, what is this? Is it jerky? Beef jerky. I keep collecting all this beef jerky. Heather has a thing for jerky, but um, I've never used it. I don't even know what it's for, but I'm collecting it. All right, let's find the stairwell. I will say, because you know, I've, uh, this is my first time playing through the whole Silent Hill series, and I've only only started playing the whole series this year, and so far this one is definitely pretty good. I see why people like it. I I think I'm still leaning towards the second one as being my favorite so far, but depending on how this one ends, it it could beat the second one for me. But I think the the way that they ended the second one, of course, I've, I've heard there's multiple endings. I think I got the good one. Um, it came together so well that it's hard for me to imagine this one could be better than that. Okay, so I'm a, it's got to be all the way down there then. Yeah, because before, before I started playing Silent Hills this year, the only Silent Hill related thing I played was PT, which I loved. I really wish, like most people, that didn't get canceled, but it's what it is. Oh no, this room is different, for sure. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.